Welcome everybody to the Texas World Speedway for the 11th race of the SCRL Classic Cup Series. The number 47 of Dane M. Emmon, how do you say your name? We'll be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him will be the number 97 of Michael Dalio. Oh, bad camera. All right, there we go. Yes, only 21 drivers are signed to this series. That's a big disappointment, but what are you going to do? Yes, Texas World. Originally, this was going to be Texas Motor Speedway, but I decided since this is a classic series, we have to go every once in a while to a classic track. So, here we are. Texas World. Yeah. Here's the command. Drivers, start your engines! Field is rolling off. Bad camera angle again. Please get rid of it. Whoa. Rainbows. Damn, that's, that's a close view. Yeah, y'all can actually read the sponsors there, can't y'all? Wait, why does that name say Rob Moroso? He didn't drive 47, did he? Hmm. Anyway. Looks like nobody's having any problems, which is always a good thing. I'm going to do a little uh, plug-in here. If you would like to join the SCRL Classic Cup Series, you can do so by looking for my replacement sign-up video, which I've already uploaded a couple weeks back. If you want to join the top tier series, you can do so. Although, personally, I think the Truck Series is the top tier because it's better racing. Our points leader is Bulldog67. He has a 21 point lead over Henrietta Fitzwater. So, yeah. Pace, car, is in. There's a the green flag. We're racing at Texas World. Whoa. There we go. And we already got a battle for a lead. Here comes Big Jake in that iconic number three car. He's still looking for his first win since he rejoined this league. He goes up the track. Here comes the 33 of Matt Delio. He won at Bristol two races ago. And it'll be the 33 call leading that first lap. That 19 car, that's a very dangerous car. Benny Sanchez, he won two races this season already. He won the... Oh my god, we got a wreck. And Big Jake got involved. The 12 of Orius, the 5 of Leroy Grangler. Bulldog 67, our points leader, Zachary Fitzwater. Well, that didn't take long. Michael Delio is destroyed. We're racing it back. And Matt Delio is your race leader. Well, that didn't take long. We're go we'll go back and take a look. All right, let's see what we got here. They're racing four wide, never good. Orius and Fitzwater gets involved. Big Jake climbed the wall. Then they start all wrecking. Big Jake goes back across the track. 47 gets a piece. 75 of Chris Kyle. The 98 goes for a spin. See if we can get a better look, see why this 
and see how this happened. No, that's... Damn it. There we go, that's a good angle. Aureus and Fitzwater are battling. Aureus goes up the track, hits Fitzwater. And they keep leaning, keep leaning until... Yeah. Wreck. And there they all go. Fitzwater didn't get too much damage. The one with the most damage was Big Jake. And maybe Chris Kyle, because boom. Right there. Bam! And Bulldog 67, our points leader, he is destroyed. He's done for the day. And Michael Dalio, as well. Bam! That little hit right there, his day is over. Well, it didn't take long for our first accident. Well, now I'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. Bulldog67 and Michael Dalio are both out of the race. You got some drivers with damage, like Big Jake. And Chris Kyle has a lot of damage to his hood, as you can see right there. Fitzwater, as I said, he doesn't have that much damage. Yeah. What I was going to mention before the caution came out uh, about Benny Sanchez, he has won twice this season already, which I've said many times before, but he has not yet won a points paying race. He won the Bush Clash, and he won his Bud Duel number two. But he has not yet scored a win in a points paying race. But he is one of three drivers to win, actually one, one of four drivers who has won twice this season. He's won twice, Curtis Lawrence won twice, and Trey Phelps has won twice. There's the green flag. Matt Dalio leads him to the green. Or back to the green. There goes Sanchez. Behind him is Nita HBK, who won at California the last race. She helps push him to the lead, and now she's going to go for it. She's looking to win back-to-back -back races. No one has done that except for Trey Phelps, who has been released from his ride as well. Uh, leading that lap will be the 29. Yep, the HBK led that lap. By one one thousandth of a second. Wow. And now Sebastian Torres is your race leader. That 04 car is trying to go for second. That's Kaka White Lion. She's dominated the truck series, but she has never won a cup or bush race. And she will get five bonus points. Here comes the 17 of Bink Drinker. He will take over. He won his first ever appearance in the uh, Bush Series when he won at Nashville, but he has not yet won in the Cup or Truck. You're trying to sweep a, a uh, series, but no one has done that yet. We've had a couple who won a truck and a cup race, but never all three. Which, the first person to do that, you would write your name forever in the history books. Dink Drinker maintains his race lead. Second is Richard Torres. Not for long, here comes Matt Delio. And... 
Pink Drinker will lead that lap. Barely. Up to going four wide. Not good. Not good. Not good. They backed off. Good. Oh. Up, up, up. There we go. White line is involved. The eight. They're going to slide up the track. No. Wow, they are very lucky. Matt Delio will lead him to the line. Wow, that was cr that was crazy. White line and Nita HPK were involved. Uh. Matt Delio is your race leader. We'll take a look. I knew the second they started going four wide, this would not work out. White line need an HPK, they're bad on hard. Let's see what happens. Uh, going down the back stretch. The 04 goes up. Oh, white line hit the 18. Who hit the 29? Who hits the 99? White Lion cannot control her car. She goes spinning through the grass. That's a better angle. And she goes back up the track. Luckily, she didn't hit anybody. Very lucky. And we just had a couple of cars spinning. Including the eight. So, that's about it. Well, now I'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. No one else is out of the race. Like I said, it was just a simple spin. Some cars got a little bit of damage, but not a lot. Matt Delio is first. Second is Alan Fitzpatrick. Third is Dane Drinker. Fourth is Henrietta Fitzwater. And fifth is Oria Centaur. It'll be a good day in the points for that 43 car. She came in here 21 behind Bulldog 67. And since he is out of the race, she more than likely will become the new points leader. Maybe. Pace cars in. We'll get the green flag with 10 laps to go. There's the green flag. We're back to racing the Texas world. The one goes to the high side. Maybe trying to do the crossover. Uh, nope. Ding Drinker will. Oops. There we go. Ding Drinker. He will take over the race here. Here comes the 12. 12 is making it three wide. They're going to try and make it four wide. Not a good idea that they backed off. Good. Big Drinker will leave that lap. The seven is trying to move up. That's Brian Fox. They're three wide for the lead. This is going to help her chances. She gets five bonus points. But here comes Matt Dalio. That is a very strong car. Oh, here comes the one. Alan Fitzpatrick.
He wants to lead a lap. He's trying so hard. And he does. He gets five bonus points. They're going to 57. Uh, they're going, they are going to run out of room. They can't keep racing this tight. Brian Fox takes over. Uh, back off. Back off. I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to see some wrecks sometimes, but not this late. Oh, and Brian Fox will lead a lap and get five bonus points. You never know when you might need it in this series. Here comes that 17, a ding drinker again. Of course, they're not only battling for who leads a lap, they're also leading for who leads the most laps, because you'll get five bonus points for leading that, too. So you could potentially get ten extra bonus points. Here comes the one again. And Alan Fitzpatrick leads yet another lap. It'll be five to go. Now. Holy crap! Jesus, the 43 is stuck instead of the 33. What the hell? Benny Sanchez is destroyed. Nudo Nilly is destroyed. Jesse Turner's got damaged. Oh, the 5 is destroyed. That might have ended the race. They're racing it back. It's gonna be Alan Fitzpatrick. That might have ended the race. Uh, well, take a look. Alright, let's see what happens. They're going four wide. Well, this is not good. Needles nearly. The 99 makes it. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Holy shit. What the hell? They get stuck. The 43 and the 33, they get stuck in the fence, but there is no fence. The 19, Benny Sanchez is destroyed. The 83, Jesse Turner. He's right in the wall. But we ain't done yet. Where is he? The 5, Leroy Grangler. He is far back. I guess he can't see that red 99 car. Bam! Hard into the outside wall. His day is done. I've never seen it, seen a wreck like that in a while. Four, five cars in the air at once. Benny Sanchez got the least of it, at least I think. Well, no, he, he just stopped, so I guess you can't really say that. Jesse Turner rolls over, and he hits the 99. While in the background, you still see the 43 up in the air. Wow. What a wreck. Well... I guess now we'll take you to the finish. Well, here's what Wrangler. Bam. Now we'll take you to the finish. Here are your race results. Alan Fitzpatrick scores the win. Second is Ding Drinker. Third is Oreo Centaur. Fourth is Brian Fox. Fifth is Richard Torres. Sixth is Kaka White Lion. Seventh is Joshua Dalio. Eighth is Zachary Fitzwater. Ninth is Nita HPK. And tenth is... Dana Emmon. 13 drivers finished the race. And yeah, everybody else wrecked out. Yeah. And now we will take you to Victory Lane with Alan Fitzpatrick.